There we go. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at them lights. So I'm trying out this new um re like screen reflection tool or basically monitor ambient lighting um that you can use on your uh VTuber avatar that's been going around. It's by Usikins on Twitter, and you can also get it on itch.io, uh, use.itch.io, uh, VTube Reflect, which I'll put uh, down in the description of the video. Uh, I just got this today, so I wanted to uh, play around with it. So the from the clips that I've seen, what it can do is if you're playing a video game, especially one that has like flashing and darkness on it, it's supposed to, to um, mimic... As if, you know, you're playing in front of uh, a monitor and the light would affect um, how it looks on your avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and um, load my avatar in. Okay, one thing I'd like to note um, is it did not... So the actual avatar that I'm using now is a VSF uh, file format, which is something new to... Um, I'm using VC Face. And... Uh, the updated VC face allows you to, you can export, you can use like a VRM uh, importer in Unity, take your VRMs there, add a bunch of stuff like emissives, animations and everything like that. And then uh, the VSF SDK allows you to export all that stuff in a VSF file, which VC face will read. And as you can see, I've got like a um, pulsating headlight and uh emissive like eyes and everything uh unfortunately it looks like with this it only accepts vrm only not vsf so you cannot use your uh your vsf files sadly um hopefully that's something they'll add in an update so i have uh just the basic vrm of this particular avatar loaded so Let's see, hold right to move camera. So you can move the camera around. Let me, I can't seem to like, this is, this, it loads in a very small window, by the way. So you can't actually like, it's very hard to see. Uh, So this is like, you can actually choose which monitor. I have two, Uh, which monitor to uh, reflect light from. So I think if I, I'd have to like load a game. So let me just see what the options are here. Here's the FOV, max FOV. Um. And then I guess uh, you can increase the bloom, which you won't see unless you have something uh, playing. So I'm going to stop for a moment and load something up, I think, with like maybe some flashing lights. This seems like it'd be really good for horror games and like dark sci-fi games. So let me see if I can find something that will work and I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually switched to uh, just my regular VRM. And uh, there's a thing you have to do uh, in order to get um, the VTube Reflect program to read your uh, VRM. And it requires uh, getting Unity Video Capture. So you have to install that. It's on GitHub. I can put it in this, the description. Um, but you basically like go and run the, the bat file for that and it'll install it. And then you have to go into... Um, vc phase uh and just like add the um you have to enable uh oc osc vmc receiver uh it's in the settings um there's like an osc vmc protocol uh receiver um and just like make sure you enable like all the tracking and everything so that gets sent over to the um unity video capture there's like a the actual unity um actually isn't it no it's in vtube reflect um vtube reflect has like a readme uh so when you get it it has like a readme file and it tells you what to do with the unity video capture so you'll have to tinker around with it a bit uh it utilizes the the vmc ports so you'll have to like figure out you might have to like create a second one that's what i had to do first one wasn't working so they create like a second one in order to get it to finally show the tracking data Okay, so this is actually going through. Um, so now that I have Unity Capture, I assume this is going to be um, whatever I do in VTube Reflect should affect the avatar now here. So I do that. So if I mess around, let me 
So you can actually see it um, moving in the program now. So now I can actually, like I, I forgot that one tiny little thing, the preview just paused, um, before loading up a game. So you'll definitely, you want to do Unity video capture. Make sure that's going through first. Uh, use a VRM only. Uh, and then uh, load in a game, I guess, or something um, that would that would cause, you know, flashing or something on your avatar. So let me do that now. Let me see if I can find a game, unload it, and I'll be back for a second time. Okay. Huh. I'm, I'm sure this is in the middle of it. Um... But I, I decided to use um, the fireworks simulator because I thought it'd be a good choice for fl flashing lights. Um, this isn't the brightest thing that you can do, but you can see it just a little bit. The lights are actually flickering off my avatar, which is interesting. Um, I also have the, the VTuber application program, so you can sort of see the settings here. Let me see if I can go into really dark area. I feel like this is a really good way to show off the reflections. So, um, oh, this area is kind of dark here. Yeah, you can see if I go into a really dark area, like right here, and light something off, it'll probably show uh, a really good example of it. So, let's see. Let's get something... Trying to see something that will be really bright, like um I have a lot of these here. I suppose any of these will be fine. Any I think anything will be fine here. How about um the cakes are good because it, it it'll it'll show like multiple at once here. So we'll do a few. I had a lot of fun with this last time I was playing it uh on July, so this should give me a nice little uh, show right here. You are not capable of being injured, so it does not matter if you stand really close. You'll just get bright flash, uh, blight, yes. Bright flashes right in your face, if that's what you want, and lots of loud noises. Um, okay, I need to get out. Uh, let's, let's light this. There we go, let's see what happens. I'm gonna watch the monitor here. You can see, you can see the lighting. It's, I guess it's got to be a really dark, whoa, okay, yeah. So yeah, you can see a little bit of the lighting. I might need to turn down, let me, let me, uh, screw around with this here. Um, so I have this, like, monitor setting. I wonder if that affects, I think that affects how, how much light you're receiving from the monitor. And of course there's a lot of bloom here. I don't want to add too much bloom. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and I think like if you make a setting you want to make sure that you uh, or you, if you do anything to the settings make sure you apply it first before uh, it shows up. So let's go in. I thought it was like a dark. This is still a relatively dark area. Let's get in the shadow right here. It's still hmm. It's still not like dark enough. But I've seen eclipse. I don't know if you have to like pull it all the way down maybe. Going up. Ambient. There's that. Um, yeah, let me just screw around with the settings a little bit just to see what's going on because I don't fully understand what everything does. Um, so we'll go ahead and put, let's see, Popper Boy. Get like a few here. Go ahead and connect these. Then light it. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit better. So yeah, you can see... It's cool too, because you can see if it's in different colors, it sort of reflects off your avatar too. That's really cool. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, had a few there. Um, I don't know if I have anything that's like, at least it isn't 
this it just leaves them there i thought they disappear that's weird uh let me see if i can get i wish i could find also yeah if you can see me walking around now and you can see the darkness uh you know when i go in the dark areas let's go in the woods here this is really dark oh yeah this is a good good way to do it like right here so let me do also have a flashlight oh cool okay now you can see that is really awesome me having the the flashlight on and off that's really cool <laughs> um we'll keep it off let me put a few i know some of the youtuber ones were really bright mr beats maybe put a few of these down Let's see what happens Okay, we'll connect these here. You don't have to play this on uh, July. I think everyone just does it on the 4th of July because it's appropriate, but this is a fun game to just screw around with anyways. There we go. Woo! Oh yeah. Look at them lights. Don't know where that one went. Yeah, this is really fucking cool. It's the only thing is like it requires a bit of setup and it it does mean that it's one extra thing to have open if you're being a VTuber. Um, it seems like that that's just the thing you kind of have to accept. <laughs> you got so many extra things that you're trying to run. You got like VC face. VC face eats up, you know, has its own resource usage. This would also have research usage um and at the moment for me uh i am using an index mic right now i really need to um get an actual just a mic because having uh the index on just to use the mic is not uh good sometimes it, it i don't know sometimes the computer will detect it when i don't have steam vr on but other times it, it doesn't so if you can just use the mic itself Without VR, that would be good. Oh, well, these are going to shoot out. Uh, maybe I can... Um... And of course, uh, uh, the clips I've seen of people using the, the VTube Reflect thing are of horror games. But this is also a really good game. Anything with, like flashy lights. I'm almost kind of curious uh, what a cyberpunk game would look like with this as well. Because the cyberpunk games usually have a lot of contrast between like darkness and light you have a lot of dark areas and you have a lot of stuff that's in emissive um i actually wonder yeah there's so many other things that you could probably use this for not specifically horror so these are gonna shoot at me Woo! that's loud I apologize for the explosions. Well then, I, I think that is a good enough demonstration of how this works. So um, if you are a VTuber and you would like to use, and you also make use of like VRMs, and you would like to have a little bit of immersion if you're playing certain games, then uh, this seems like a really cool thing to utilize. Just keep in mind, it only takes VRMs can use your vsf um avatars and um it does mean you know it requires some setup and it does mean having another like application open at the same time so just kind of keep an eye on your resource usage um and uh yeah that's pretty much it it's really cool i like it